Verse 1, first phrase, in the beginning was the word. Those words, in the beginning, in Greek, are identical to the first two words of the Bible. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Don't think that's an accident. What John is saying is, before there was any matter, before anything had been made, was Jesus. In the beginning was the Word. So there at the beginning, when those things were brought into being, he was there already. That's the point of in the beginning. And another confirmation that John is thinking that way is that in the beginning, God created, and the very first thing he tells us about Jesus' action is everything was made through him. So creation is in his mind as he writes the words, in the beginning. So Jesus was there as the Son of God in the beginning. Let me say it in an Einsteinian way, and then I'll give you the biblical phrase for Einstein's theory of relativity. relativity. Um, Jesus was there not only before matter, he was there before time. Because the 20th century brought the discovery that matter and time are coextensive. No matter, no time. Kind of a controversial thing biblically sometimes. Listen to the great doxology. Now, I don't think the biblical writers knew the theory of relativity. They just knew truth. Jude one twenty five goes like this. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory and majesty, dominion and authority, before all time, now and forever. So he's lifting up his doxological praise of Jesus Christ, and he says, before all time, now in these times, these times of the ages, and forever, glory be to him. Or take 2 Timothy 1.9, God gave us grace in Christ Jesus before the times of the ages. So, when he says, in the beginning was the Word, the connection with Genesis 1, the wider references to being before time, is meant to communicate um, before anything else was, he was. So get the time right. He did not come into being. He just was. 